Greetings and welcome to India Business Insights. Today we present to you a video on arbitration. Arbitration in India, history. Arbitration has a long history in India. In ancient times, people often voluntarily submitted their disputes to a group of wise men of a community called the Panchayat for a binding resolution. Modern arbitration law in India was created by the Bengal regulations in 1772 during the British rule. Until 1996, the law governing arbitration in India consisted mainly of three statutes. The 1937 Arbitration, Protocol and Convention Act, the 1940 Indian Arbitration Act and the 1961 Foreign Awards, Recognition and Enforcement Act. The government enacted the Arbitration and Conciliation Act of 1996 in an effort to modernize the outdated 1940 Act. The 1996 Act is a comprehensive piece of legislation modeled on the lines of Ancestral Model Law, which is United Nations Commission on International Trade Law. It was enacted to provide an effective and expeditious dispute resolution framework which would inspire confidence in the Indian dispute resolution system, attract foreign investments and reassure international investors on the reliability of the Indian legal system to provide an expeditious dispute resolution mechanism. The Act covers both domestic arbitration and international commercial arbitration. Arbitration in India – Important Provisions the 1996 Act, which repealed the 1940 Act, was enacted to provide an effective and expeditious dispute resolution framework. The 1996 Act has two significant parts. Part 1 provides for any arbitration conducted in India and enforcement of awards thereunder, and Part 2 provides for the enforcement of foreign awards. Any arbitration conducted in India or enforcement of awards thereunder, whether domestic or international, is governed by Part 1. While enforcement of any foreign award to which the New York Convention or the Geneva Convention applies is governed by Part 2 of the 1996 Act. The Act provides for appointment of arbitrators under Section 11, grounds for challenge of appointment of arbitrators under Section 12, arbitral awards under Section 31, grounds of challenging arbitral awards Section 34. Apart from this, the 1996 Act contains two unusual features that differed from the ancestral model law. While the ancestral model law was designed to apply only to international commercial arbitrations, the 1996 Act applies both to international and domestic arbitrations. The 1996 Act goes beyond the ancestral model law in the area of minimizing judicial intervention. When to go for an arbitration? When the resolution of disputes through courts become lengthy and time-taking, the process of alternate dispute resolution is adopted. In the case of commercial disputes, arbitration is introduced as an alternative dispute resolution method. This method of ADR can only be invoked in cases where the parties have entered into a valid and duly executed agreement and contains a properly drafted arbitration clause. The law also defines and specifically states the manner in which these clauses are to be drafted and the essential elements they ought to contain. Section 7 of the Indian Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996 also explains arbitration agreement. When two or more parties to a contract have a stipulated clause which may read as, in case of any disputes arising between the parties, the dispute between the parties to be adjudicated by way of arbitration. It can be construed for the parties to have entered into an arbitration agreement. The arbitration agreement between the parties is a binding contract between the parties. For an agreement to constitute an arbitration agreement, it is essential that the agreement must be in writing and must have the above stipulated clause for it to be referred to arbitration agreement. Who should be your arbitrator? The Arbitration and Conciliation Act of 2015 under Section 10 grants the liberty to the parties to appoint an arbitrator mutually. The parties are free to determine the number of arbitrators, provided that such a number shall not be an even number. However, if the parties fail to do so, the arbitral tribunal shall consist of a sole arbitrator. The procedure in relation to the appointment of the arbitrator is provided under Section 11 of the Act. A person of any nationality may be an arbitrator unless otherwise agreed by the parties. This section shall also deal with the scenario where the parties fail to appoint an arbitrator mutually. In such a case, the appointment shall be made upon request of a party by the Supreme Court or any person or institution designated by such court. In the case of an international commercial arbitration or by the High Court or any person or institution designated by such court in case of a domestic arbitration.
Under Section 12, Subsection 1 of the Act, an obligation has been cast upon the prospective arbitrator to make an express disclosure on circumstances that are likely to give rise to justifiable doubts regarding his independence or impartiality, or grounds which may affect his ability to complete the arbitration within 12 months. The purpose of this provision is to secure the appointment of an unbiased and impartial arbitrator. The fifth schedule to the Act, Annex A, contains a list of grounds giving rise to justifiable doubts as to the independence or impartiality of an arbitrator. The seventh schedule, Annex B, lays the ground which makes a person ineligible to be appointed as an arbitrator. Arbitration Institutions in India Indian Dispute Resolution Centre, New Delhi and Mumbai IDRC has India's most experienced panel of esteemed arbitrators, mediators, which include former Honorable Chief Justices of India, Judges of the Supreme Court, Chief Justices of the High Court, Judges of the High Court and District Courts, Queen Councils of London, former Secretaries to Government of India, CMDs and Directors of PSUs, Senior Advocates, Chartered Accountants, Domain Experts and many more. Delhi International Arbitration Centre, New Delhi with the distinction of being the first ever High Court Annexed Institutional Arbitration Centre, DIAC has made a significant contribution to the growth of arbitration by acting as an effective catalyst to the dispute resolution mechanism. DIAC is overseen by the Arbitration Committee and the day-to-day -day functioning and general administration of the centre are managed by the coordinator and additional coordinators. Indian Council of Arbitration, New Delhi the ICA was established in 1965 as a specialized arbitral body at the national level under the initiatives of the Government of India and apex business organizations like FICCI, etc. Based in New Delhi, the main objective of ICA is to promote amicable, quick and inexpensive settlement of commercial disputes by means of arbitration and conciliation, regardless of location. Mumbai International Arbitration Centre, Mumbai the Mumbai Centre for International Arbitration is a first-of-its-kind arbitral institution in India. Established in a joint initiative between the domestic and international business and legal communities, the MCIA aims to be India's premier forum for commercial dispute resolution by providing arbitral rules which draw on the latest innovations in the international arbitration best practices and are also attuned to the Indian market. A dedicated secretariat that facilitates the efficient, flexible, cost-effective and impartial administration of arbitration proceedings. Nani Palkiwala Arbitration Centre, Chennai The Palkiwala Foundation is a trust formed by a few like-minded individuals to promote the values cherished by Mr. Palkiwala, the great jurist and visionary for well-being of our society. NPAC was founded keeping in mind the growing burden on Indian courts and the inordinate delay in the disposal of cases and promoting arbitration in India. Leading Arbitration Centres in the World International Court of Arbitration, Paris It is the world's leading arbitral institution. Since 1923, it has been helping to resolve difficulties in international commercial and business disputes to support trade and investment. Although it is called a court in name, it doesn't make formal judgments on disputed matters. Instead, it exercises judicial supervision of arbitration proceedings. London Court of International Arbitration It is the oldest arbitration centre, origin in 1883, and after 93 years in 1981, the name of this court was changed to the London Court of International Arbitration to reflect the nature of its work, which was by that time predominantly international. The LCIA has access to the most eminent and experienced arbitrators, mediators and experts from many jurisdictions and with the widest range of expertise. Regardless of location and under any system of law, the international nature of the LCIA services is reflected in the fact that typically over 80% of parties in pending LCIA cases are not of English nationality. Singapore International Arbitration Centre since commencing operations in 1991 as an independent, not-for-profit organization, SIAC has established a track record for providing best-in-class arbitration services to the global business community. SIAC arbitration awards have been enforced in many jurisdictions, provides efficient case management services to parties from all over the world. Hong Kong International Arbitration Center 
HKIAC was established in 1985 by a group of leading business people and professionals in an effort to meet the growing need for dispute resolution services. According to the Queen Mary University of London and White and Cases 2021 International Arbitration Survey, HKIAC is the world's third most preferred and used arbitral institution. Having received Global Arbitral Review's Best Innovation by an Individual or Organization Award in 2014 and 2021, it is constantly at the forefront of innovative arbitration practice. Dubai International Arbitration Center The Dubai International Arbitration Center is the largest arbitration center in the Middle East. It was initially established by the Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry in 1994 as the Center for Commercial Conciliation and Arbitration. Located in the heart of Dubai at the Dubai Chamber's headquarters, the DIAC provides local and international business communities with commercial arbitration services, including modern and well-equipped meetings and hearing rooms. World Intellectual Property Organization, Geneva The WIPO Center is international and specialized in IP and technology disputes. The WIPO Center is also the global leader in the provision of domain name, dispute resolution service under the WIPO design. There are some notable recent cases. Sanjeev Prakash v. Seema Kukreja, April 2021 the Supreme Court relied on the decision in Vidya Drolia v. Durga Trading Corporation 2020, which ruled that the courts can only intervene at the pre-reference stage if it can be demonstrated that the claims are prima facie time-barred and dead or that there is no pending dispute. All other cases should be sent to an arbitral tribunal for a merit ruling. This would likewise be the situation if a motion for novation was filed. The Supreme Court of India has examined the limiting scope of Section 11 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996 and concluded that the issue of novation of an agreement cannot be determined by the courts in the limited prima facie assessment of whether the parties have entered into an arbitration agreement. Haryana Space Application Centre vs. Pan India Consultants Private Limited January 2021 under Section 12, Subsection 5 of the Arbitration Act 1996 read with the seventh schedule, the nomination of the Principal Secretary, Government of Haryana, as the nominee arbitrator of the appellant, which was a nodal agency of the Government of Haryana, was unlawful. It was pointed out that under Section 12, Subsection 5 of the Arbitration Act, any individual whose connection with the parties falls into any of the categories listed in the seventh schedule is ineligible to be chosen as an arbitrator, regardless of any prior agreement to the contrary. The Honorable Supreme Court ruled that Section 12, Subsection 5 of the Arbitration Act, coupled with the seventh schedule, was an obligatory and non-derogable clause. We hope that this video on arbitration was insightful for you. For more such videos, subscribe to India Business Insights.